Hi guys, this is a follow-up video. I forgot to mention something really important, and I will be teaching you how to insert images into Adobe Dreamweaver. Okay, what you want to do is go into your computer and your documents, and just go into there. Just give me a second. My Dropbox, public. Make a folder named Images, and then you also make a folder named Videos for your SWF files, or your animated files. Yeah, that's, that's good. And let me just minimize that, and you can, make a banner, you can make a banner. I used Adobe Fireworks, but you can make one paint pretty easily. Okay, let's open up paint and make like a banner kind of like this and we can add some text I will name this text banner and you can add, add a background to it like a solid color when you get orange and fill in this stuff Then you go to File, Save As, and browse for the images folder you made in the My Dropbox thing. Okay, public, and and you save it as a PNG file or a JPEG. PNG is a bit better quality, so I use that. I'll just name this Test Banner, and I'll s save it. And you go into Dreamweaver. You make the new HTML document if you hadn't already. And then you go to Insert. You gotta insert an image and browse for that thing you made. Documents, um, Dropbox, and Public, and Images, and search for Test Banner, and that'll be okay. And now you type in some alternate text like test banner and then press ok and here's your banner and now for this to match the color of your website okay you want to go to modify and page properties and appearance Wait, background color, you just use that little dropper tool that you use to select colors with and you do that. And text color, I'm going to make this one orange. And appearance, do the same thing. And text is black. And the links, I can make that any color. You can make it any color you want. Just do that. And visit the links that and active links and um, link color just make it what whatever you again rollover links I'm not even sure what that is an active link yeah whatever there you go it's all it's all good now you want to go to file and then save and now where you saved it let's open that up that document up in Firefox see this will this is how it looks on the web that's pretty cool okay this that's all for this tutorial and follow-up video Next tutorial, I'll probably be showing you how to insert Flash material into your website. And for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.